Uh... Hello everybody and welcome to Rome Total War Remastered, the original, the best, the nostalgia filled adventure and this man has a peacock on his head. Hey, you wondering where I've been for the past two weeks, I've been taking a bit of time off to refresh myself, get myself back in the video recording editing mood and uh, sometimes you just need to take a bit of time off, relax, sit back, make some videos and then come back and play this baby of a game. If you you guys are all the gravy babies and this game is gravy grandpa because dear lord does this game hold a lot of nostalgia for me and probably a lot of you guys too and I am so glad that they are making this and I hope they continue to make this type of game for like medieval and so on but I won't get too optimistic about that stuff because I need to get in here and have some fun. So Rome Total War Remastered is pretty much what it says. It's the original Rome Total War but remastered. There's a few little things that are fixed and to get it running on modern systems a lot better and on top of that there is a bit more flavor added for nations that originally weren't playable in the game at the start. Uh, which does mean of course we do have the um, cursed Bronze Age Egyptians. They're still here. Now I've actually selected the option that allows you to see all unplayable factions in the game but I'm pretty sure in the base game if you don't select that option you only start with these three right here which is pretty cool because uh, I think the way you actually unlock the rest is by defeating that nation on the map. If I remember correctly, it's been a while since I was a teenager. So we're going to be picking from the Julii, the Brutii or the Skippy. A lot of people think it's pronounced Skippy. It's not. It's the Skippy. And if I remember correctly, they each have their own ways they're supposed to invade, like the Julii are supposed to go into Western Europe, the Brutii are supposed to go east over here into Greece and Anatolia, and the Scipii are supposed to go deal with those damn Carthaginians. And I think the one I always used to play was either the Brutii mostly or the Julii, but I think, because I've never really done it, we're gonna give the Scipii a good old chance today. Well, look at this guy. How can you not love that man right there who looks like his lips were sucked dry by a lemon? So here we are. Do you feel the nostalgia? Because I feel the nostalgia. So as the Skippy I, we do things like pronounce our name incorrectly. It's actually the Skippy Bibi. And as you can see, we have a province over here. It's Kukpua. And we have the Sana down here. And we've got those pesky Carthaginian Jains. Trying to make a move. Uh, we, we also have the Greeks, but they're kind of cringe and still walking around with big sticks with a pointy end on it. And um, that doesn't go too well for them. I'm just going to put that out there. Won't, you know, it don't go well. Uh, I've already done a turn just shedding things up, getting things ready. We've got our army here. It's not the best, but it is ready to go and attack this Carthaginian one. Because we will be needing to take this guy down. Uh, as you can see, we are apparently pretty even on the battle right here but uh, I severely lack any cavalry and he has an elephant might be a little bit problematic now this isn't the Hannibal this is just Hanno but because Hannibal won't be bored for another 50 years he's gonna be our Hannibal <laughs> okay my favorite thing about Rome Third War is definitely the battle maps because as you saw we we, uh, we escalated that battle and now we're on a giant hill. So we have our main force right here, our brave Roman Skippy soldiers that are gonna do most of the damage. We've got some archers, which I'm pretty sure they, they're actually new. They didn't originally have any archers to begin with in Rome Total War. I don't even think they can recruit them. I could be wrong, but I'm not too sure. Usually we had to use these guys who just throw spears at everyone and it works quite well and of course we do have our one cavalry unit which is our general there he is right there looking pretty fly also like he has just realized he's up against a man with elephants and a little bit scared but we do have the positional advantage here and we do need to deal with those elephants post haste because they are going to be a problem so we'll send our brave archers to fire some fire arrows which if i'm correct used to spook the elephants back in the day i'm not too sure if they do that anymore if that was just something that you was told as a child and believe okay they're also bringing up their own slingers now probably to deal with some of our guys here so we're going to use our spearmen to start throwing spears look at that oh there you go the elephants have gone wild they're running amok and usually they'd run into the enemy line but it appears they're just running home 
You've got a long way to go. <laughs> that is good, though. That's the one friend I was pretty worried about. And now looks like they're bringing in their Merc Cavalry, which we should probably also focus on for a hot second. Oh, you go. They're going in for the attack right now. Uh, our infantry should hold the line, and then we'll run around with our cavalry, trying to get a little uh, hammer and anvil in. Oh, no. They've already run away like cowards. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Those elephants coming back. Please come back and trample on Hannibal. I want him to die by elephant fun. Uh, they don't have a lot of those though, so it's best to save them for actual infantry as it does soften them up quite a bit if they come in for a charge. Uh, not a very good day to be a Carthaginian warrior, is it? Kind of sucky day. We've moved up the front just a little bit now. My archers are now in range of the general unit, which um, if this is him himself, Hannibal's about to have a very bad day. But the archers are almost out of ammo now, so we're going to spare the rest on his general. Because the AI is technically defending, they do not want to push me, especially because I'm up a damn hill. All right, all out of ammo, and now it's time for the assault on the infantry. We're going to push up, get them to throw their spears, and then attack. We need to keep, keep a little eye on this cavalry though so we're gonna have these guys up here and then our now units with no ammo to um well hold the rear guard oh wait their general just ran in to support their infantry this might be an excellent chance to put his head on a stake oh god he's running like a coward before i've had my stake filling get back here you coward oh there you go he's unrooting and my only goal here is to murder him which i will not leave this battle without doing so uh, Damn, looks like he's gonna get away, but, uh, we'll be back for you, don't worry. He's moved his cowardly army back to Lily... Lily Bayum. Lily Bayum. But, uh, we do have another bit of troops to go up here to reinforce us a little bit, as we are a little bit hurt uh, after that battle, but we will end the day with this man's head on a stake in Rome. Oh, great. I, I'm very glad that they didn't add naval battles into this game, <laughs> because I just... I would blow my brains out. Oh, that's a interesting move. He's actually come out to meet us. Um, probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, he's running. He just moonwalked away. Brave Matt. This is, um, this is some interesting terrain we are fighting in, that's for sure. As you can see, we now have a way more infantry, but our skirmishers are kind of lacking as they took a bit of beating, but we do have one more general unit, so one more piece of cavalry, we will not let him escape this time. Mm, so they actually started on the hill this time, and I think our best course of action, because they've got reinforcements coming in, is try to uh, move the battle over here. Uh, now, I'm not too sure why you're holding a torch in the middle of the day. Is your eyesight that bad? Oh god, here come the elephants. Right, focus your spears on that. I, I put my general, one of my generals out to try and distract them a bit so we can get some spears in them. But they're eating him alive! Oh god, the battle is getting chaotic, but I really do have to keep these guys keeping these elephants busy, or else they are going to destroy us. And these guys are rushing my general. Okay, one second. No! No running! Oh, wait, I, I killed him. Wait, where do I... Wait, what? I... <laughs> um, apparently this battle is still going because they have two guys left over here and these three guys still willing to put up a fight apparently now we got a lot of casualties in that battle but in the end it was worth it because hanno has been slaughtered and with that the first siege can take place albeit our army is very battered especially after elephant gate but we're gonna have to keep pushing forward just a little bit longer boys there we go we didn't even have to fight the siege because they simply surrendered because they all starved to death which was pretty good. And just like that, our first heroic battle against the Carthaginians has, uh, has been complete. We will have to deal with the Greeks at some point, but for now, we need to push onward. So, something new they've actually added in Rome Total War is merchants. Just like Medieval 2, um, this actually allows you to place your merchants around, or if you're too lazy to do it like me on certain goods that you can trade for, you just put them on auto-manage and they'll do it themselves. Now, oh, look at that. The Greek seeing we have left Messina has gone for a little sneak attack on us so we're gonna have to go deal with that now oh i moved my army up and they have disappeared so we'll have to go hunting for them found them well we found him cleon of sparta who apparently is not a very good general unlike my guy gaius skippy Kipio, who is um a political animal 
and gay. So our army is still heavily beaten. We have not got a chance to retrain them yet. And uh, it's going to be a bit of a struggle, but we do have a lot of infantry to do a lot of damage with. Now, the Greeks are still using the old antiquated phalanx technology, which, uh, if you can call it that, is simply standing in lines with big spears and a shield. We're going to show them why that's not that effective. So the easiest thing you can really do with these guys is get them broken up. And as soon as they are broken up, you just need to get around them and give them an old slap on the booty. So when you have some very easily mobile troops like the Romans, um, getting around a phalanx wasn't much of a problem. You just need to make sure your troops can hold out while you get them around them. And uh, of course, I've managed to do this with simply one cavalry unit. And uh, you can imagine how effective it would be with more. Now, whilst that was victory for Scipio Gaius it is actually a very pyrrhic one our army is busted to hell so we're gonna have to rebuild these guys pretty quickly and also make some guys over here because we've got a bit of a revolt happening. I've also taken the precautionary measure of hiring a bunch of uh, homeless men who hang out in the forest to join my army in the meantime to uh, shore it up a little bit. Right, so the army is now shored back up. Unfortunately, we can't get the skirmishers going, the rangers, because we don't have a archery, I assume. So uh, we're going to have to leap those guys on it, but we are going to go ahead and attack with our extra general unit down here. Now... Their army is also attacking over here, but I'm not too scared of that because I've sent the homeless men over there to shore up their defense. Well, it's our first siege and we are going to fight it because that's what we do in Total War. And I've got to say, our boy Gaius is getting pretty up there in leadership, so uh, I'm not too scared about this at all. So uh, the strategy is pretty simple. We are going to murder everyone inside of these walls. There we go. The fight to take the walls has begun and we will have some reinforcements once the siege engine has decided to lower the door. Uh, yeah, it was, it's alright, you guys, you, um, you take your time climbing the ladder, I'll just wait. There we go, afternoon tea has been served, and they are finally prepped and ready for a fight. There we go, the enemy defense has been crushed, or is being crushed between a whole bunch of sweaty men. And we have caught, captured, caught, we have caught the walls, we have captured, we have caught, he captured the walls, which means we can now just walk through our caught, he captured walls. Now, it's not a crazy impressive siege. This is all that's left of the enemy defenses, but you know what? It was the first siege. I've got to play it, okay? I got to do it. There we go. Our boys, brightly clad in blue, have managed to get in the walls and we're ready to take out the defenses. And we also have our cavalry coming in on the flank and you know what they say there's no better time to be a roman than when you're murdering people to death murder to death sneak attack from the cavalry go to war they said it'll be super fun they said so we are taking our time but we have conquered the island of sicily now and we shall be moving forward down into the rest of Carthage's land but we won't really be focusing on the greeks too much because i'm pretty sure our green brothers the prutii shall definitely deal with that problem i've also been sending my great diplomat kafajo novo the bald man to uh you know get get a little survey of the land that we want to invade get a lot of map detail which we have and uh he's doing a good job but maybe you should just let it go just let it go there you go we've rebuilt we're refreshed ready to conquer and we do need to get conquering because our roman brothers are actually conquering a lot more than us and we we can't be falling behind can we i just realized that uh, our leader now gaius He's now Gaius the Harsh. <laughs> Alright, we've got them all backed up in the corner now, and they actually have an army here, so this might be a challenge. No, it was not a challenge. They all just ran away. Oh my god, this us get our hands. Look, now there's two of them. Now, our main army did take a bit of a beating, despite the fact we won, but um, Gaius is still the Harsh, and he, his skills just keep getting up there. Down here, we just have a... Uh, Opius Clausus and our boy Publius Scipio. Great guys. Well, it looks like they're actually going to sally forth from the siege of Carthage now, and uh, that's going to make things a little bit easy for me. But they do have some elephants left somewhere, and those are going to be a bit problematic. Oh, and there goes Carthage. And don't think I'll be letting you get off that easy, Hannibal even though you're in hell right now. Oh, we've pushed them to the edges of their empire now. We're getting the Balearics, and we've landed in Spain to take care of their last provinces, but I have noticed the Iberians have turned up, and I'm not ready to deal with them yet, but I will deal with you. Although our boy Gaius the Harsh, he's, um, he's not looking too good. Also, just casually carrying around a slave trader with you. That's good. Um, 
you got quite a bit of guys hanging around with you there. Oh my gosh, look, look at all the stuff he has. So this man is a legend. A big gay legend. Me? In! Now, unless there's another province I can't see, their final stronghold is down here in Spain, and we will be dealing with it. Should I be slightly worried about this Spanish army just kind of sitting here, though? Probably. Uh, although their faction leader is actually just sitting here. So, if we go to war with them, I think we might snipe that immediately. Is that uh, our allies to the north are getting absolutely decimalized by the barbarians. The, the Bretons of all people are taking out Northern Italy. I, uh, I, this is quite enjoyable to watch. Oh, well, this was our first encounter with the barbarian hordes down here in Spain. And as you can see, they're already cowardly hiding in the woods from our great army. Uh, now, historically, barbarians hiding in the woods never went too well for the Romans, but we'll give it a shot. If you can't tell from their running away, the battle went pretty well. But with a great and competent leader like Gaius the Harsh, what can I say? Um, it is a bit early for the hordes to be pillaging Rome, but um, are you guys gonna do anything? Oh god, no, they're coming even closer. Yeah, I might just abandon Italy, I don't think it's that important. Oh god, well, 235 BC, the horde is definitely moving in. Uh, I guess the broody eye are just too busy going <laughs> up here into Russia now that they, they're not too fussed about the whole Italy deal. Oh god, it happened. Gaius died of old age. No! The fall of Rome and the fall of Gaius. I just... What is there left to live for other than the fact I'm making fat back? So yeah, I think we'll end it off with the death of Gaius here. We did um, a very slow and steady approach. Usually I play Rome Total War a lot faster than this, but I kind of wanted to do a bit of laugh with Gaius, considering he was a um, god-tier general. But yeah, if you want to see more Rome Total War videos and you want to see this continued, let me know down below, leave a like and subscribe button, and we will get to it, because I am going to be playing a hell of a lot more of this game, and I am assuming you guys are too, so yeah. Great game. I love it. It's the best. Nostalgic to hell.